did a, a, a great job um, protecting the boards. Um, but, you know, we, we learned that we can't just rely on our offense and that we have to play both ends of the court. Um, so I hope that's a, a lesson that came through loud and clear for him. Um, next question is from Jeff Linder. Uh, yeah, Ohio State seems to be a team that's kind of been on a lot of starts and stops, um, but, you know, they, they haven't lost yet. Is, is this probably the best team you've seen so far? Um, I think it is. I think it's probably the best team that, we've, that we'll face so thus far. Um, now, you're right, they've only played six games. We've played 10. I think, I mean, I, I, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to prepare for them because you're not exactly sure exactly who's going to be playing and who's in the starting lineup. Um, we're assuming that Dork is going to be back. Um, she's been out for a while, and she's a key player for them. She hasn't played the last two games, so we really don't know what um, to expect there. But she is a tremendous power forward um, that scores very well, rebounds well, shoots threes, penetrates, posts up. And then J.C. Sheldon, I, I love this guard. I think she is an outstanding off guard that you know, can shoot the ball so well, has a step back three, um, just a very, very effective player. The thing about Ohio State is they're very balanced, though, and you really can't uh, you know, help off of too many people because they'll make you pay if you do. Any other questions for Coach Bluter? Give you a second. Yeah, Coach, um, I want to go back to last summer before we had really seen significant minutes from Monica Sinano. And you told us before you guys left for your trip that you don't want us to compare her to Megan. And everyone <laughs> understood that and makes sense. But I think in some ways the performance against Minnesota reminded me of it, just that constant tenacity in going after them. Shots didn't fall for a little while, and then shots did fall for her. And then obviously, I mean, she goes 13 for 14 in Northwestern. I know that they're different players. They do different things. But do you feel like you're seeing some of the lessons maybe that Megan passed along really showing up here as we get into some of these bigger, tougher matchups? Yeah, I mean, I think, Grant, that she really proved herself all of last year. I mean, she she was consistent all of last year. Uh, and she certainly has been, you know, right now. I mean, 13 for 14 from the field. I mean, that's amazing. Um, you know, she should have probably taken 20 shots, though, and not 14. Um, when somebody's scoring that effectively, you know, you have to be smart enough to get them the ball in those situations um, a little bit more. You know, keep going back to the same thing that's working. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think she learned a lot from um, Megan. And uh, I, I know that they're still very connected. And I know that what's kind of neat is that Monica's kind of paying it forward now and, and really trying to be that same person to Sharon that Megan was to her, which is really neat to see. Uh, John Bodenkamp. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because you, you've talked before about Monica and, and the way she's been teaching Sharon. What, what does she do? I mean, is, is it just, you know, constant advice from her? Do you think is it just that kind of work that she does with her? It's not only the advice, but it's the, the, kind of that's your post buddy. And so, you know, they, they work out together a lot when we do breakdowns and coach Jensen takes them. And so they're working out together so she can really give her a lot of feedback and during that time, but it's also like keeping each other up and building each other up and having confidence in each other. And just, you know, giving that pat on the back, you know, I, I think it's just looking out for that person. And I think it's just kind of tucking her under the wing and look it out for her. big sister type of thing. Um, Jeff Linder. Yeah, kind of going along with that. I, I know that uh, those two and uh, and uh, Logan kind of huddle up, and that's something that they've uh, been doing a lot. You know, your program's done a lot before games. The, the posts always kind of huddle up and and have some words. Is that something that uh, that you kind of instigated, or when, when did that begin? I'm not really sure when it did. I don't know if it's something Coach Jensen did. I did not. So I'm not sure if it's something that started to me, if it started with somebody, it probably started with Chase Coley um, because she's that type of person, but uh, it might've been something Jan said, I don't know for sure, but uh, it's something that just kind of been passed on, you know, in, in tradition. Oops. Anything else for coach Bluter? Thanks you guys. Thank you.
Um, okay, for our student athletes today, we will have Caitlin Clark and McKenna Warnock with a possibility of Monica, but um, she had a meeting quick, so we'll see if we, she can make it down in time. Uh, give me one second. Okay, first up, we will have Caitlin Clark. Um, if you have any questions for Caitlin, please raise your hand in the participant window. Uh, John Bones, yeah. yeah. Hey, Caitlin, you struggled the other night shooting. What's the key to bouncing back from games like that? Yeah, I mean, I think just confidence. I mean, credit to Northwestern's defense is really tough. Definitely the toughest defense we've seen all year, for sure. And sometimes you just have those nights. Um, I think it was kind of more of a team thing. Uh, none of us really shot the ball as well as we usually do. So, but credit to Northwestern. They they kind of knew what we were about. Fast breaking, fast breaking. We like to shoot the three. So we were pretty covered, but just a confidence thing. Get back in the gym and, and shoot, but bounce back for sure. Thanks, Caitlin. Um, Steve Batterson. Yeah, team-wise, what does it take to bounce back from a loss like that? Yeah, um, obviously, I think defense is a big focus right now for sure. But at the same time, you can't you can't get super down after one loss. You got you just got to bounce back, kind of flush it, learn from it. I think there was a lot of things that we kind of saw and they exposed us in that we can learn from and, and take away and get better at. So um, I think defensively is one of the main ones, and just um, get back in the gym, keep shooting, and and just keep staying confident. We're a great team, so. We have another big challenge up for us on Wednesday, so we'll be ready to go. Jeff Linder. Yeah, uh, did you put up any extra shots? Uh, did you come shoot uh, Saturday night or Sunday or anything? What, did you get back yeah. in the gym? What was kind of your routine yeah. since then? Yeah, we didn't get back till 
Saturday at one. So technically Sunday. So we had Sunday off, which was nice. And I think a lot of us kind of just needed to take a break and be away from the gym, which is kind of what I did. Kind of just needed a minute to relax. We've gone, I think, 10 or more days straight of being here, having four games. And usually, honestly, I would be in the gym, but I thought it was best this time just to get some time away and decompress from basketball. I think sometimes that's almost better. Um, but I'll be back here later tonight shooting. We just had practice. So um, these next two days before the game, I'll, I'll be getting a lot of shots up, which will be very important. Um, sorry if you can't hear me, but Chloe Peterson. Um, yeah, Coach Bluter said just now that Ohio State's probably the best team you've faced so far this year. So what are you and the team doing to prepare for that? Yeah, I mean, their starting five is all super solid. They can all score the ball. They're aggressive. Um, they play They play fast. They're just a great team overall. I think they're ranked 16 right now. So um, obviously just sticking to the game plan. They're going to play a lot of man defense, which I honestly think that suits us well. We'll be able to run our transition, um, but they have a great transition too. So I think it's all going to come down to defense for us. I, that's usually what it is every single game. Um, we'll be able to shoot the ball well. We'll be back in Carver. So it's what we're used to. We'll be able to, to knock them down again. Anything else for Caitlin? Okay, thanks, Caitlin. Thank you. Uh, next up, we'll have McKenna Warnock. Hi, McKenna. Hello. Um, uh, if anyone has any questions for McKenna, please raise your hand in the participant window. <laughs> Nobody wants to be the first one today. Okay, Steve. Sure. <laughs> what does it take for a team to bounce back from, a, from an outing like the one it had Saturday? Just like Caitlin said a little bit earlier, I think we just needed to come back into Carver, um, decompress a little bit like we did yesterday. And then today we really just worked on defense. That was our main goal. And um, just trying to, I think Northwestern pinpointed a lot of areas that we struggle at. So I think it was really good for us today to come together as a team and work on that. What does this team need to do defensively to, to become better on that end of the court? We today just really worked on communication. That was a huge thing, especially with a young team. A lot of times you're not as vocal. So I think we had to just get out of our comfort zone today. Um, and we should have last game as well. But that's something we're working on right now is communicating and uh, obviously just keeping the ball in front of you. Grant Becker. Yeah, McKenna, uh, I mean, you guys started the season not really on the, the top 25 radar at all. And then you get to this weekend. And I think, honestly, this result is a little bit surprising, not that you guys weren't in the game or that it wasn't competitive or anything like that. But I mean, relative to expectations and your internal expectations, how do you think you guys have done on the whole so far this season? And do you feel like you've kind of surprised people maybe a little bit again? I mean, last year, we really weren't on the radar at the beginning either. And we definitely proved that wrong. And I think this year, we've been kind of a surprise as well. Um, and I think this team has amazing potential. A lot of people see us as just a really young team, which we are, but um, I don't, we don't take that as an excuse, you know, so we just work harder every single day. Um, but I think we have surprised people and I think we'll continue to get better and hopefully surprise people even more. Is that something you think about often, you know, considering your whole starting five is, is back in the fold next year, you've got all the sophomores and a freshman and a junior in that starting lineup. Is that something you guys think about when you consider the success you've had to this point in the season? Um, we kind of take it year by year. This year is kind of our main focal point. So just doing the best we can this year and then next year, whatever happens, happens. So anything else for McKenna? Okay. Thanks, McKenna. Thank you. Um, so far, I have not heard from Monica yet. So if you give me just a couple minutes, I'll check on her and see if she'll be able to make it down or not.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. I think she's still in film, so we will not have Monica today. Um, I did send out the, obviously you all saw it, but I sent out the media availability for the rest of the month. Um, and I wanted to touch again on the, the media or the rec credential request. If you um, need to do that still, please do that. Um, I think our credential lady will be there for the Northwestern game, which is on January 28th. If you want to just pick them up, otherwise um, let us know if you want to mail or not. So I think that's all I have for today. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Thanks. Have a good day.